Okay, hi everyone. Okay, so today we look into how to how to draw production's uh, possibility curve or PPC. Okay, so to draw the PPC, so we need information uh, regarding the uh, uh, two goods. Okay, two goods. Uh, let's say, for example, this is the production uh, for firm J. Okay, so let's say from J want to decide whether they want to produce bread or butter or they want to produce both. Okay, so they have several options. So the options are known as the possible combination. Okay, combination. So we have uh, how many options? One, two, three, four, five options, which is A, B, C, D, and E. So option A, so uh, they will produce 10 butter and uh, non for but uh, sorry 10 bread and zero butter uh, and combination B they give up uh, bread uh, two bread uh, instead of 10 they're producing eight and they're able to produce one butter and for combination C uh, six bread and two butter D four bread and three butter and E uh, zero bread and four butter which means they're only producing bread okay so first what we need to do okay first step so we need to draw sorry okay figure simple figure only okay so let's say here is bread this is butter Okay, here is zero. So we are using the scale here. We just uh, so let's say here is two, four, six, eight, and ten. So this is one, two, three, uh, four, and five, for example. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we just plot uh, the uh, the information that we have here into this curve. So let's say for combination A, 10 bread and 0 butter. So it should be here, 10 bread and 0 butter. This is combination A. Or B and B, um, 1, uh, sorry, uh, 8 bread and 1 butter. This is combination B. Combination C, 6 uh, bread, 2 butter should be here okay this is c a d four bread three butter four bread and three butter should be here and uh, last but not least is uh, e this is d e zero bread and four butter which is here e so what we can need to do this is the uh, the point then we should plot uh, each point its combinations to have our production's possibility curve okay so the production possibility curve uh, or the production possibility curve uh, is explained or show us several several informations okay the first information is that the curve itself shows Okay, shows, um, so I just, here, the, the, this curve here is known as efficiency. Efficient here is means that all resources that the firm J able to be utilized. Okay, so the able, firm J able to utilize all their resources uh, if say they are choosing with A, B, C, D, or E or along the curve. However, below the curve, which is inside this area here, okay, let's say Z, okay, so Z is we call inefficient. So, inefficiency here refers to the fact that uh, 
resources is not fully being utilized so there are few resources not not being used um, so they have become uh, inefficient so what is the problem that happened is that uh, there are wastages okay uh, and another um, uh, Okay, another explanation is that outside of this curve here, which is, let's say here is U, outside of the curve here is referred to the, uh, refer to the problem of unattainable, unattainable unable to be achieved uh, for example let's say uh, at this point is 20 bread and uh, 20 bread and 20 butter for example so the firm J unable to achieve that uh, numbers or that productions because of their limited resources due to the problems of scarcity okay scarcity Okay, so along this curve here, or movements A, B, to C, to C, to D, to D, to E, to E is choices that can be made. For example, for, uh, for example, the initial uh, production is A. Okay, the initial production is A where the firm producing uh, 10 bread and no butter. But if say, um, the firm J want to produce one butter so they need to let go bread okay so <clears throat> we call that is opportunity cost right okay but how, how, how to calculate opportunity cost okay so the the formula is quite simple. For example, we're taking bread and butter. So let's say the movement from A to B. Okay, instead of A, they want to choose B. So the movement uh, from A to B, the opportunity cost is change in bread divided by change in uh, butter. Okay, so remember change in bread divided by change in butter okay so let's say a to b so a to b um, the changes in a uh, sorry the bread uh, which is 10 to 8 is 2 uh, the changes right which is 10 minus 8 is 2 so the changes from A to B for butter is 1, uh, 0 to 1. Okay, so eight minus, uh, 10 minus 8, uh, 1 minus 0. So the opportunity cost is 2. Okay, so which means that what we can conclude here, okay, the OP opportunity cost of producing producing one unit of butter is two unit of bread. Okay, so this is how to calculate the opportunity cost. So uh, okay so that, that will be a similar calculation for each uh, for each uh, combination uh, movement for example b to c c to d the similar calculations okay so i think that's all so thank you very much let's on we look into uh, uh, how the movements of the uh, uh, production possibility curve due to several factor uh, which is economy uh, developments uh, technology and so on okay thank you very much hi okay so for this video uh, we look into a factor that able to influence the uh, growth of ppc or able to move the ppc curve okay so factor that influence the uh, change in ppc in PPC 
uh, production possibly uh, for possibility curve so first we have the uh, okay uh, this is the PPC let's say uh, they are two goods which is good X and good Y so this is the initials uh, possible combinations or the PPC curve okay so this is X and this is Y so let's say economic growth okay so uh, the first factor is economic growth so economic growth means that uh, an increase in ability to produce a greater level of output which is uh, in terms of goods and services so which means that we say the ability is increased in terms of producing um, then so what happened is that um, the ability to produce x and y will be increased so therefore the ppc curve will move outward so okay so which means that they will move outward okay from this one to this one okay from this the initial ppc curve and they will move outward uh, due to economic growth however during um, um, a bad economic situations or during recessions for example during the the current situation the pandemic um, so what happened is that the ability to produce output also decrease so what happened is that the PPC curve will move inward okay from uh, this curve or PPC they will move inward okay okay so uh, the second uh, factor is uh, the um, technology okay uh, technology advancement uh, or development uh. okay technology advancement so um, similar with uh, economic growth if say they are uh, on developments uh, in developments in uh, technology for let's say for both uh, good which is for good X and good Y so the PPC curve will move outward okay will move outward which is from here to here nevertheless if say the technology advancement is only uh, for one product only so let's say we draw another we draw another PPC curve X and Y so this initial um, PPC so let's say um, the technology advancement only happen in producing X so what happened is that a while uh, technology advancement in y is not uh, is remain constant so what happened is that only x will move outward okay while y remain constant so this goes um, uh, or they are similar uh, pattern you say they are only technology advancement happened in y while x remain constant so only y will move outward where x is remain constant okay so that will be uh, the factor that influence the change in ppc so there are several factor there are other set other factors aside from economic growth and technology advancement um, but we will discuss that later uh, or you can uh, try to think uh, other factor you can try to think other factors and we will discuss later on okay that's all thank you very much